Hi there. When we were doing one of our Hearing God workshops in Western Australia, a senior gentleman and former pastor came up to me and said, My wife could never hear from God because her father was such a horrible man. Every time she imagined God, she saw her father superimposed over him and didn't want to hear anything that he wanted to say to her. Last year, a friend in Victoria explained that he too had found it difficult to hear God all his life. Just recently he discovered that he had superimposed the image of his mean and abusive dad over God. Here are some other examples. This thing happened is he turned, he looked at me, and I felt myself shrinking down. And he stood up and this shadow cast over me. And he goes, do you have any idea what it takes to put food on the table? Do you think that this roof just puts itself there? Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. One day you're going to have to work hard for money. Now get out and play on your own before I put you to work. And I turned around and I walked out and I never asked him again to play, ever. I don't have one memory of playing with my dad. Not one. At, um, at age 14, my father uh, left home and went to live with another family. Um, and married that lady and um, so when I came to know the and my father and I had a very good relationship up until that point and and so when I came to know I wanted to know the father the father God um, what happened for me was I, I got stuck right there because for me to really put my heart into him and really trust him the thing that kept coming up in me was Yes, but fathers, will leave, they'll leave you eventually. You know, they may love you now. He's, you know, I know that God the Father loves me. That's good theology. But, um, but can I really trust mm -hmm. that when the chips are down that he's going to stay with me? Mm -hmm. and, and so it was really coming to terms with forgiving my own father from my heart, not just making a, a choice about it, but forgiving him from my heart. That really released me to, to uh, immediately I did that. There was like a flood of the Father's love. And the wonderful thing that, you know, we've found um, in knowing the Father is that, is that his, his love is tangible. It's not just something we believe for, hope for, and wish was there, um, and have to kind of face it. It actually is there and is real. And so when, you know, when I released my own father and, and forgave him, uh, there was just the release of the Heavenly Father's love into my heart. And it's kind of like he made up all the deficit and all the things that my father in his own brokenness was never able to give me, my father, Heavenly Father, gave to me and continues to. We all come from flawed parents, mums and dads who had shortcomings, if our image of God is tainted by the image of particularly our Father, it can cause us to have difficulties in trying to hear from God. Since introducing this topic in our second workshop, we've had many people comment how relevant it is to them. So in order to at least start to rectify this and get past thinking, even subconsciously, that God is like our Dad, we need to find a place in our hearts where we can forgive our earthly father. Most of us have good fathers, but sometimes they can be extremely dysfunctional as parents. Your father may have been abusive, or just absent, unloving, or overbearing, unable to protect, or unable to understand, or something else. Can I encourage you to, right now, start to address anything that has caused the image of your father to undermine your image of God. The first step is to find a place in your heart to forgive him. Generally, fathers are a victim of their fathers and their fathers before them. Of course, they still had a choice in their actions and reactions. But we need to have compassion and at least try to understand. Today, we can't go into intense counselling about this. But it is important to deal with as soon as you can. As you look at the shortcomings of your earthly dad 
and inasmuch as you are able, start the process of forgiving them. As you remember their shortcomings, being absent, abusive, unwilling to understand, or anything else that comes to mind. Anything that you can see that has marred your image of God because of your relationship with your Father. You may feel you have already done this, but there may be more that God wants to reveal, sometimes in the subconscious. You can ask Jesus to help you begin this process. Take a few minutes of silence to hear what God might be saying to you. Pause the video to do this. When you are finished, I will pray. But let this just be the starting point so that you can be free and have a fresh image of a perfect, loving and ever-present Heavenly Father who loves you and loves to give you good things. Pause the video now. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we were born into a fallen world, and our fathers were as well. They may have unknowingly and unintentionally marred our image of you. Please, Lord, help us to forgive them. Please help us to be willing to address this and to move on. Help us to have a fresh, refined image of you. Enable us to know your pure and perfect love as we desire to hear from you today. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you.